Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be talking about Fur Harvesters Auctions forecast for the 2023 market. This forecast report that I'll be giving to you guys was made on October 7th by FHA and we'll, we'll go through it and then we'll discuss it. Fur Harvesters auction dates have been selected with two auctions to be held live in March and May of 2023. The March auction will take place in the North Bay with the possibility of the May auction being held elsewhere. Details of this, if it is to transpire, will follow. Travel restrictions for all internationals arriving into Canada have been lifted and this has allowed the return of live traditional auctions to be held. Last month, Saga Furs of Finland were the first to hold a live auction since the pandemic in their Sable auction last month as well and surprisingly prices improved and clearances were strong. This is a positive indicator that North American Sables will do well this coming year. We are anticipating good demand on our sables as Russia did well despite the issues they faced due to sanctions, as well as other concerns brought on by the Russia-Ukraine conflict. There will be none of these issues facing buyers wishing to purchase sables at FHA. With the exception of coyotes, we are expecting better prices on all other long hair goods desirable for trim. Fisher prices and clearances are likely to continue to move upwards as have been the case for the past two seasons. There is no question that FHA consistently receives the highest prices for wolves and wolverines in the world. Our customer base on taxidermy articles are very large and customers always have the fight to get to what they want. We had the largest offering of black wolves in our history in our June 2022 sale with a clearance of 100% averaging $587 and a top of $731. Eastern Timbers sold at $146 and the top of $443, a total offering of close to 600 wolves and customers still needing more at sales conclusion. The same demand exists for Wolverine. Our June offering sold 100% at an average of $4.87 and a top of $8.87. Black bears and grizzly bears will be strong demand also for this season. Beaver is another item that we have always outperformed our competitors for decades. Results on both last year's auctions have beaver prices advancing with healthy increases each sale and a June clearance of 100%. We have been getting calls for beavers since the June sale concluded. If you guys would like to see more of these, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we know to continue to make more. And also be sure to check out the merch shop down below to check out some different hoodies and such. Lynx Cat, aka Bobcat, is an item that is in good demand at levels that remain very worthwhile trapping wise. Commercial cats for all sections are all but cleared out and we continue to sell at a thousand dollar US basis on top double XL Western A caliber cat. As we will be holding all auctions live this season we expect this to bring out an increase in price and clearance on Western cats. Links will be as sellable once again at levels consistent and likely better than 2022. Otters are expected to sell at better levels again and clearances are good last year. Wild mink are expected to remain unchanged and difficult to move. We are optimistic that recent clearances of ranch mink at the two European auctions will help stimulate muskrat sales and we intend on sticking to our evaluations until this happens. In the case of raccoon, we will continue to meet the market and sell, expecting some price increases on better sections for 2023. As the world's last remaining wild fur auction, our mandate remains unchanged to supply our trappers with the best service and fight for the best prices while providing international buyers with the most diversified and finest graded wild fur assortments on the planet. Good luck to everyone this season. Respectively, Mark Downey, Chief Executive Officer of Fur Harvesters Auction. Reviewing this forecast has me very positive about this upcoming year. This would be due to them lifting different restrictions so now international buyers can go to these fur auctions and look and buy their fur. This generally gives a higher output of money and also the percentage sold, just like what they said in these posts. Overall, slight increases um, most likely happen, but you know, you're looking at your bigger ones like the wolves, the beaver, the lynx, and otters are what we're looking for. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, thank you for watching.